Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Joan speaking for the first time in several years here on Charisma to AC. We have had a very long down period, as you know. We have not uploaded anything new for several years. Uh, some of us probably thought that we never would again. Uh, I'm one of those people who at least for a long time thought that that was it. We, we would probably not be uploading any new material. But as I'm sitting here, I am very pleased to inform you that we will be uploading new material and that we will be uploading, at least for now, a campaign that I will be running. It will be a Werewolf the Apocalypse campaign. We are going back to uh, the tried and true, so to say. Uh, we're not heading back to Dublin. Uh, a Song of Tara is obviously a done deal. It's a completed campaign and, and a, a wonderful story that we are all very proud of. If you haven't, for whatever reason, haven't actually listened to A Song of Tara yet, what the hell are you waiting for? Go listen to A Song of Tara and then come back. Uh, but um, this is a brand new story set in York in Northern England. Uh, it will be called A Dog's Life, or It's a Dog's Life, um, more precisely. And it will take uh, five characters. Uh, some of the players you will be familiar with, some of them not so much. Um, and set them on the on the dark streets of, of York in the world of darkness. Do, 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 do. The premise of the campaign is pretty simple and this little hype video is meant to whet your appetites, so to say. So here it is. We have five bone gnaws running the streets of York. The, the sept in the city is run by the Silverfangs, and they are in constant struggle with another sept located in Stamford Bridge nearby, run by the Geta Fenris. The Geta Fenris are violent and extremely hostile to anyone in York. They are not following the same principles that the Geta Fenris in Dublin did, for instance. These are more Let's just call them traditionally minded, violent people. The silver fangs in York are as uppity as silver fangs usually are and have very little time and very little place for the bone nors, who find themselves in the unenviable situation, as bone nors often do, of having to make their own way through the nights. And now something bad is happening in their lives. More specifically, a local homeless shelter is being taken over by suspect types, bad people apparently, who wish to move in and put an end to the good works that are being carried out by the volunteers and the workers at this homeless shelter. Why, they don't know. But it is a place where not only they, but many of their friends and allies and contacts and people that the Bone Nors, generally speaking, try to look out for and take care of, spent their nights. At least some nights. And now that looks like it's going to come to an end. So, they have to find out what is going on, who is trying to take over this homeless shelter, and if possible, put a stop to it. All the while this is going on, other supernatural beings, of course, also roam the Knights of York. And in fact, a lot of them do. York is a city which is smaller than Dublin by comparison, which was a city of about half a million people, or more like a million and some, during daytime hours when commuters come in from the surrounding parts of Ireland to work in the capital. York, on the other hand, is a city of about 200,000 inhabitants and would normally sustain only a relatively small supernatural population. But for some reason, it has exploded. There are dozens of vampires, for example. There are 
numerous werewolves and this overpopulation of supernatural beings so far has managed to remain undetected by the general population. There has been no flagrant breaches of the masquerade for the vampires, no litany breaches that have drawn attention onto the werewolves for them, for example. So these things are still in order and still working the way they should. But the numbers just keep growing and sooner or later it is going to be a problem. Sooner or later somebody is going to do something stupid and bring the wrath of the whole ordinary normal world down on everybody's heads or at least that is what people fear will happen. So in this oversaturated marketplace of death and destruction as it could quickly turn into at least and of what shall we say of intrigue and guile and deception certainly we find five player characters who are not the best equipped to deal with greater political scheming bone norse generally speaking are the outcasts and the downtrodden amongst their kind and that is the pitch for the campaign i have five players ready we will very shortly be doing a session zero um we may or may not be uploading that but at least we will be um uploading the story proper once that begins and we do hope that some of you will want to come and listen in we look forward to hearing your comments or seeing your comments as it is again and interacting with you as we used to do and we hope that this might help bring Charisma to AC back. Thank you very much. And we look forward to this. <laughs>